You got any business at the mine? Now I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. You ain't scaring nobody. Arthur London there. Clear? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Is London Dairy. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just we lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. 
There ain't nothing left, mister. I just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things different. Like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am.
Let's go, girl. Yeah. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I I can't have it. 